Do you want to increase your Amazon sales by 50, 100, or even 200% over what you're doing right now? Well, this video is going to show you how. Hey guys, my name's Simon. I'm a six figure Amazon seller here in the UK. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can increase your sales on your Amazon store. Now, this is a really underrated, undersaturated method that not many people talk about, but has transformed my Amazon business and has transformed a few of my students as well. So what I'm going to be talking today is about utilizing the Amazon EFN or European Fulfillment Network to completely revolutionize your Amazon business and increase your sales by a huge amount. So what is the EFN program? Well, let's have a look at this graphic I've created. And what we can see here is just a demonstration of how the Amazon EFN network works. And what it does is it allows you to sell your UK stock that is in a UK Amazon warehouse into any of these European countries, France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Netherlands, Sweden, and Poland. And what Amazon do is they will deal with all of the import duties, all of the VAT, all of the shipping, all of the headache for you and allow customers in all of these countries to buy stock from you. And then say they will deal with all of that, all the hassle, basically, and deliver that item to the customer in that country. So as we can see here, you know, the UK has got a population of about 67 million. OK, um, obviously, we spend a lot of money on Amazon in the UK. But you can see on the right hand side here, uh, the total population of sort of all of Europe with these countries is 325 million. So you can now suddenly see that we're opening ourselves up to a huge marketplace. Um, and we can see here like France has got 68 million, Germany, 84 million, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, not every country uses Amazon as much as the UK, but the big one here is Germany that does like extremely well, you know, has increased my sales by quite a lot. So you can see here that we are basically opening ourselves up to almost all of Europe and they keep adding new countries sort of, you know, every now and then. Um, recently, Sweden's just been added and Netherlands, I believe, as well. Um, so, you know, Amazon keep adding new countries in. So now you can see kind of how the Amazon EFN network works. Let's just talk about, you know, why should you do it? Well, obviously, the main reason is just to increase your sales. Um, you can increase your sales by, say, 50 percent. I've got a, a roughly a 40 percent sales uplift from selling into Europe. Um, but you can obviously see a huge number of sales in there. And I'll go into further in the video um, sort of the, the upsides and the downsides and what kind of items you should be selling into Europe. But yeah, the main reason to be doing this, obviously, is just to increase your sales. And, you know, um, it, it's going to just re revolutionize your Amazon business. Now, before we go on, I just want to talk about my sponsor, which is Profit Protector Pro. And the great thing about Profit Protector Pro is that they actually allow you to reprice in all of these European countries that I've just mentioned. And obviously, as you can see here, many more. So if you just zoom in a little bit, we can see that I have on my settings for PPP, the EFN UK selected, which means we are shipping from the UK warehouse into Europe. And I have repricing set up for UK, France, Germany, etc, etc. So you can see that Profitect Pro not only is a fantastic repricer just for the UK, but it also allows you to reprice in many other countries. So what we can see here is a quick sort of uh, view of my uh, repricer. And we can see here that I'm using, you know, Profit Protector Pro to its absolute maximum. Not only is it making me more money just in the UK, it's making me more money in other countries. And we can see here that for this particular product, which I can't show you what it is, but we can see that I'm selling this into France, Germany, Spain and Italy. Um, you know, I'm selling into Netherlands and Sweden as well, but there is no sort of BSR in those particular countries. So one thing you need to understand is not every product will be selling into every single country. There might be restrictions and things like that. But you can see here, I've got the reprices set up for all these different countries. And it's nice to get these extra sales coming in from these countries. So, you know, just boost my profit. And um, yeah, it's fantastic. So if you guys are interested in signing up to Profit Tech to Pro, um, you can use my link in the description. Um, and you can get a 14 day free trial and it's just definitely worth signing up for a to the UK. But also if you're thinking of going into Europe as well, it covers that. So let's talk about a few of the upsides of doing Amazon EFN. So obviously the main one is just more profit. You know, you're going to get more sales and more profit. Now, um, obviously no one's going to say no to that. 
Now, um, obviously, it's a fairly obvious one, but you know, there are a few other good reasons as well, a few other upsides to doing uh, Amazon uh, in, into Europe. So, you know, you can, um, and one thing I do as well is sometimes an item's not selling very well in the UK. Maybe I bought it and the price tanked, a lot of people jumped onto it, and it's just not doing that great. And yeah, I could wait three to six months for the profit to come back. Um, but sometimes you can sell that item into somewhere in like, you know, in Europe, like Germany or France or wherever, um, and just get that item cleared because most people don't do EFN. So it opens up a huge opportunity there for you to like clear items that say aren't doing well in the UK, but maybe you can clear into Europe. So this also brings on to another uh, thing as well, which is basically, um, now when I'm researching products, I'm not just looking at the UK as well. What I'm also looking at is whether this is profitable in maybe another country. So I'm rather than buying it specifically for the UK, and maybe I'm buying something that's not actually profitable in the UK, but it might be profitable in Germany. So now when you're researching, you've now got, you know, I don't know how many countries that is, like five, six, seven extra countries where you can actually check the price and see how these things are doing. Um, obviously it creates more legwork for you, but it also opens up so much more opportunity. So you can see here, you know, there's multiple ways you can use it to, to make more money, whether it's from, you know, making a higher profit on your item versus the UK, maybe it's just increasing sales overall, um, or it's actually buying something specifically into uh, selling into Europe. Now, with like everything in life, there are upsides and there are downsides. So what are the downsides to doing EFN? Well, the first one is that Amazon will be charging you VAT on your sales. So if you're not rat registered yet, you have to accept that basically you will be paying VAT on sales into any European country. And Amazon take care of all that for you. They pay that on your behalf. Um, but obviously you still have to pay it. So that might be a little bit of a sting for you if you're um, not that registered yet, but you could still do that and find profitable items that are um, you know, still profitable in Europe, even if you're not that registered in the UK. I'm pretty sure you can sell into Europe and pay VAT even if you're not that registered in the UK. The other downside, and this one kind of sucks as well, you know, we all hate Amazon returns, but you know, we're going to hate Amazon EU returns even more because obviously if a customer in Germany decides they don't want the item and they want to return it, it's going to cost you more money. Um, the return fees are higher. So you just need to factor that in a little bit when you're doing your research. You know, if it's a high return item, you need to be making more money. And the other thing you'll find as well, I mean, this is more of a positive really, but um, you can actually make more money sometimes on these products in other countries than UK. So, you know, you can charge a premium to make up for that kind of like return rate if that happens. Um, what else have we got? So, you know, it's a bit of an extra accounting headache. You just speak with your accountant just to make sure they, they're aware of what's going on and make sure they're happy with it. Um, shouldn't be a problem, but just something to keep in mind. Um, and I mean, this is kind of an upside and a downside, but every single European store that you open, you essentially, when you start selling in, say, Germany, for example, you will have a Germany storefront on Amazon. Um, and that store has its own account health. It has its own ungating process. It has, it's basically its own store. So let's say for whatever reason you get uh, banned in Germany, I'm not saying you will, but you will still be able to sell in the UK. So they are essentially two separate stores. Obviously don't get banned guys, um, but they're two separate stores. You have to ungate brands in different countries. So for me, I had to ungate a certain brand in the UK. And then if I wanted to sell into Germany, I had to send, submit, I had to send the same invoices off to the German uh, Amazon and um, you know get that ungated as well. So this is kind of an upside and a downside. So, you know, on that one. And I guess the final downside as well is you're now going to start getting a bunch of emails in foreign languages. So you have to answer customer emails in French or German. I just use Google Translate to sort these out. You're obviously going to get emails from Amazon as well in these foreign countries, so in these foreign, foreign languages. So you just need to you know, use Google Translate and you know, you'll soon learn um, what is an email that's important and what's not. So before we get on to the items that I sell into Europe, I'm just going to mention that I do one on one coaching, guys. If you guys are interested in doing some one on one coaching, learning about how to set up European uh, sales or maybe you want to help just scale your business or getting started, you can get in touch with me and we can set up a one on one coaching. Alternatively, you can join my free discord. Again, link in the description. Uh, it's 100 percent free. You can come on there, come and chat to like minded people, come and chat to me, ask me questions, etc. But yeah, I thought I'd just throw that out there for any guys that are, you know, existing Amazon sellers looking to scale or maybe you're a new seller looking to get into it. So get in touch for either one on one coaching or come and join the free discord group.
So what kind of items do I sell into Europe? Well, there's a few items that I sell. One I've already touched on before, items that are basically um, are not selling very well in the UK, but um, you know I want to clear out. I'm not willing to wait for the price to recover, and I want to clear out. So I can sell those into you know, European countries. The other one that I sell mainly as well is a replenishable item. So I know I can get as many of these as I want. Let's say I'm selling 100 of these a month in the UK. Well, it's nice to then try and sell 50 of them into Germany. It's not going to affect my UK sales or supply. I can still buy as many of these as I want. It's a replenishable. So, you know, in that case, I'll be looking to try and expand my marketplace. It doesn't make so much sense if you've got like a one-time deal, a limited deal, um, let's say you're going to make you know, a decent profit in the UK and you've only got, say, 10 of these items. You can't get any more. Well, there's no point selling into Germany or France if the profit is very similar or even just slightly better. It's probably a bit easier just to sell into the UK in that case. So for me, just kind of like, yeah, hard to sell items, replenishables. And then obviously items I'm specifically sourcing for your European country. So when I'm doing my sourcing, I'm going, okay, that's no good for the UK, but that's a great one for Germany. So I'll buy that and sell that into just Germany. So, and when you're doing this, you can use like, you know, BuyBot Pro, again, link in description. Um, it has a whole tab here showing you the profits for, uh, and the, the sale price and the profits for each of the European countries that it covers. So you can look on there when you're doing your research and, um, you know, just see what is it uh, an item that's potentially worth looking, selling into the, you know, Germany or France or whatever country you're actually looking at. So guys, I hope you found that a useful video. Please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Um, if you want a video showing you how to set up EFN and all the settings that I use, please uh, comment below. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, obviously it's gonna require a lot of work on my end to kind of create that. But if that's something you guys want, please let me know. Again, you know, if you're looking to sign up to Profit, Profit Protector Pro, uh, link in description, um, and come and join my free Discord as well, guys. Uh, we're building up a really nice community in there. So guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.